She cared for it, I could tell. Well, so I knew what to do. What's that? Go and get it renewed. But I never really understood the construct of renewed. Cause it's already used. Why not buy something new? Ask anyone if they really had to choose. Would they prefer something new? I would. My, my neighbor once had a tea kettle. A tea kettle. Whoever sees this, hit subscribe right now and get free healthcare. I'm just kidding, this ain't Europe. What's going on, YouTube? It's one only Noxo, and we are back. We are back with our reaction series. So today, today, man. As you can see, I'm in a different location. Unfortunately, my grandfather has passed away, so I am here this week leading up to the funeral. So this is where I will be doing my videos, just trying to keep content going, keep moving, keep things positive, man. And yes, I am well aware, Nas, Lil Wayne have dropped an epic song together. That is what the internet is telling me. You guys keep commenting, saying, I got to break this one down so you know it. Right here, right now, we got Nas, Lil Wayne, Never Die. But before getting further, I want to give a quick shout out to that song. In the intro, listen, it's weird. It is wild. It is a storytelling track. It hit over 150K views in the first weekend alone. If you guys want to check it out, support me and support you directly. I'll put the links to it below. But anyways, anyways, you know what we're here for. Lil Wayne, Nas, step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. Wow. First and foremost, I want to give a huge shout out to Hit Boy. I mean, tell me a better producer, rapper duo in the modern day. Then the GOATs, Nas and Hit Boy. They are just cranking out work after work after work, giving us these timeless pieces of art, man. I love the strings. Like you take the soft sound of the strings on the production, and then you have that harder, faster, more up tempo drum kit that you drop in. So you take sort of like heavy and soft and blend those two together with that beautiful sample sound. So much soul, man. So much hip hop and vibe to it. And we got Nasty Nas on this one. <laughs> Can never say goodbye. I let my skill cry. Huge 50th birthday shout out to Nas, man. It's so true. Like, where so many legends in the game have come and gone, Nas is showing longevity. He's still putting in that time with his pen, and he's crying out with his skill. It's just a beautiful street poetry that Nas gives you with lines like that, man. And you know the saying, legends never die. And he led us into his ill mind, shouting out Illmatic, one of the greatest albums of all time, still to this day. Let's get to it. To a chill vibe, could never say goodbye. I let my skill cry, let my soul bleed. Inside a rose wearing rosaries. Homie, I love the new and why, cause I'm the new and why, and the old and why, at the same time. True. I always hit the last shot when it's game. In the rolls with rosaries. Right, he's still praying, he's still saying his prayers. So even though he's living this high life, he's still connected and grounded by God and the things he's been through. Again, it's just these, these, the way that he puts words together and paints these lyrical pictures for us, man. I always feel like I'm right there riding with Nas in the moment. Cry, let my soul bleed inside a rose wearing rosaries. Homie, I love the new and why, cause I'm the new and why, and the old and why at the same time. Facts. I always hit the last shot when it's game time. The Jordan Kobe Braun talk, take a long walk, you might start to understand. That Jordan, Kobe, Bron talk. The three goats right there. Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James. Shot when it's game time. Game Last shot. Who you going to give it to? Who you going to give it when the game's on the line? You going to give it to Nas, but also like trigger game is strong. In the O and Y at the same time. I always hit the last shot when it's game time. The Jordan, Kobe, Bron talk. Take a long walk. You might start to understand what I'm putting on for. I left more flows and pro two sessions than you ever thought of with old school methods. I left more flows in Pro Tools session. Da 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 da. Very smooth flow right there. Drop that into the Pro Tools mix, man. I love that. And then the take a long walk lines, like playing off of take a long walk of defeat. Cause you ain't beating Nas. I left more flows in Pro Tools sessions than you ever thought of with old school methods. But what you hearing is the present day. Over breaks and samples of New York and WA. The brand new, brand newbies, NAS and Wayne. Don't threaten me with a good time. The brand new, brand newbies. He shout out NWA and then he just shouted out brand newbie and Lord Jamar, Grand Pooba. But in this case, Lil Wayne and Nas still doing it. They taking it. And I love that sentiment, man. Old school NYC. 
but for the modern present day. That's how you keep it going. W-A, the brand new, brand Nubians, and yes and Wayne. Don't threaten me with a good time. We here to stay. Nasty, they don't make them like me. Mask up, all black, like a poo shiesty. Swoop through. I'm like Detroit Red in a zoo suit. Loose screws, any great challenge. I'm like Detroit Red in a zoo suit. Zoo suit, riot, riot. Man, take me back to those days. But Detroit Red, you know who that was, right? Got thrown in jail, came out of jail. A transformed man, one of the greatest activists of his time. I'm talking about Malcolm X. And then obviously the Pooh Shiesty, right? Wearing the ski mask, because that's what Pooh Shiesty is known to rock and to wear. Ski mask type of rapper from Memphis. I'm like Detroit Red in the zoo suit. Loose screws, any great challenges. I find a loop through. Loopholes, why they treat me so bad, Club Nouveau. Damn, the times we living in is... Why they treat me so bad, Club Nouveau? He shout out Club Nouveau as well? Why you treat me so bad? That was a trap. Loop through, loopholes, why they treat me so yeah. bad, Club Nouveau. Uh -huh. The times we living in is crucial. This my time, cruise flow. Top Gun, they too slow. Computers ain't fast enough to keep up with nasty cuz. Mm. We ain't gonna never. Computers ain't fast enough to keep up with nasty. What's his alter ego referred to as? Nasty Nas, man. The characterization of all that. But Tom Cruise, Top Gun, he's the Top Gun. He's at the top of his level. He's an ace pilot. Y'all can't keep up with him and his level. Shouting out the Tom Cruise Top Gun movies, man. Top Gun, they too slow. Computers ain't fast enough to keep up with nasty cuz. Right, and Tom Cruise flow, because you think about like putting it in cruise control, like he's cruising through this flow. Smooth little wordplay and bars from Nas there, man. We ain't gonna never die. Never die. Never die. <laughs> We ain't gonna never die. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna never die. We ain't gonna never die. Icons of real time. Icons of real time. We ain't gonna never die. Icons. I love it, man. I kind of took that approach with Love is Blind. You know, the hook to Love is Blind, like it's very simple. It's not like I'm saying a lot of lyrics and words on the hook because I got a beautiful, soulful sample behind me. And that's kind of what Nas did right there. Like it's just a simple phrase. We ain't gonna never die. That just gets kind of stuck in your head. And that says enough. He says that and then just lets the track breathe and lets it all kind of marinate, mellow out. Icons of real time, we ain't gonna never die. Uh. Icons, stepping on pythons, spitting that Kayan, each like Zion, looking at the skyline. Spitting that Kayan, he's spitting that hot fire pepper, man. That Kayan pepper, stepping on pythons, snakes in the grass, eating like Zion. Lil Wayne punching in with that two-syllable condensed rhyme scheme, but man, I love the way he does it. One, two, did do, one, two, do do. Like he's playing ping pong on the beat. And I can only think of Eat You Like Zion, like Zion Williamson from Duke Baby, now in the NBA. Didn't they put a, uh, they even put like a, <laughs> my man likes his food. My man's like pushing 300 pounds and like they put a clause on his contract that he's got to maintain a certain body weight and take care of himself. So you got to watch what you eat, man. But he's eating anyone who comes into that lane like the Ken Baby Tumbo. Icons of real time, we ain't gonna never die. Uh. Icons, stepping on pythons, mm. spitting that Kayan, eat you like Zion, peeking mm. at the skyline, reaching for the stars like I'm reaching for the pylon. I seen you on the sideline. Reaching for the stars like I'm reaching for the pylon, like I'm trying to get that ball in. And get that TD plus six points in. Oh, I love that. Reaching for the stars. But it could be like Zion Williams. That man's got hops. So like he's like leaping, reaching for the skyline as well. Leaking at the skyline. Reaching for the stars like I'm reaching for the pylon. I seen you on the sideline. You need to walk a fine line. You need to read the guidelines instead of reading the timelines. Where everybody like line. Nobody need to read the guidelines instead of reading timelines. Get off the socials. Start learning the guidelines to the game. Start growing this up here instead of worried about this down here wow and we even got more like the football schemes like reaching for the pylon because i just heard fine line like he's trying to like stay in balance sent you on the sideline so you're over on the bench while i'm in the game then you need to walk a fine line to stay in balance versus walking a fine line in life or when you try to test one. Timelines instead of reading the timelines where everybody like line, nobody flow like mine. I'm sending these niggas, got me coaching niggas like prime. Tongue, I never bite mine, got dole. Sending them, I'm coaching them like prime, like coach prime, shout out. All right, comment below how many y'all watched uh, college game day, went to Colorado, they went to Boulder, Colorado State game, what a game, went into OT. But first, like early plays of the game, one of Deion's sons. Takes the interception, pick six to the house. Defensive player, and then his other son's a quarterback, and he came through clutch in that game. So Lil Wayne is sunning them in this game. 
like father to son. Literally, Dion has his sons playing at Colorado, but he's also coaching them. He's showing them what to do. He's laying it out. Shout out to Coach Prime, man. He is a disruptor right now. Like mine. I'm sending these niggas, got me coaching niggas like Prime. Tongue, I never bite mine. Got dough like Taekwon. To spend all this money, I'm going to have to spend a lifetime. Oh. To spend all this money, I'm going to have to spend a lifetime. It's like a simple bar, but Lil Wayne has just those simple lines where you're like, Damn, that's dope. Why have I never thought of that before? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just the master of the punch lines, man. He can just punch and punch and punch. Doe like Taekwon. Taekwon Doe. Shout out to my wife, who's a fifth degree black belt, by the way, and that shit. She'd probably beat my ass. But, anyways, Taekwon Doe versus he's getting this dough, getting that money. Let's go. Nobody flow like mine. I'm sending these niggas, got me coaching niggas like Prime. Tongue, I never bite mine. Got dough like Taekwon. To spend all this money, I'm gonna have to spend a lifetime. Mm. Bro, can't even buy time. Should throw niggas a lifeline. No money on my. Broke, you can't even buy time. I should throw them a lifeline. Like, here's a literal lifeline to pull your ass back in. Or he might throw you a line giving you life on this track. Ridiculous bars yet again. And then you know the saying, like, you can't even buy time. So literally, you have no money. But also, if you're going to, like, buy time and, like, waste somebody's time, you don't have to pay for it. It's free. So you're so broke, you can't even do something that's free. Playing off of that idiot. I'm going to have to spend a lifetime. You broke, can't even buy time. Should throw niggas a lifeline. No money on my mind. And I be on your wife's mind. I hit her with the pipe bomb. Then pass it down the pipeline. But actually, we quite fine. Diamonds on... Hit her with a pipe bomb and pass her down the pipeline. Next, Super Mario, get down there. Right, man. I hit her with the pipe bomb, then pass her down the pipeline. But actually, we quite fine. Diamonds on me sparkling and splashing like some white wine. They mm. love me in the nighttime. They hate me when the light shine. Shots I got. Love me in the light. Nighttime. Splash like white wine. I'm thinking uh, there's a Dre Rihanna song, wasn't it? I come alive in the nighttime. Good weed. White wine. I know I reversed the order of that, but that's what it makes me think of right now. I hit her with the pipe bomb. Obviously, Drizzy, Lil Wayne, come on. They pass it down the pipeline, but actually we quite fine. Diamonds on me sparkling and splashing like some white wine. They love me in the nighttime. They hate me when the light shine. Shots mm. I got a hundred and problems I got nine nine. Who got it by Ryan? Take shots I got a hundred for you. If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. Shout out to Jay-Z, 99 problems right there, flipping that. And then even like they hate me when the light shine. Because of my success. Success breeds haters. Come on. But even that flip, I just thought about it. They hate me in the nighttime. They love me when the light shines. So I love that juxtaposition of night to light. Nighttime when he's playing shows, they love him. They love to play his music and roll around. But then when the lights come down and other people see his success, they start to get jealous. Hate me when the light shine. Shots I got a hundred and problems I got nine nine. Boo got it by Ryan. Take off with no flight time. Babbage on the passenger side. She don't even like flying. Booty soft as nylon. You nigga small as my crime. I got a black Nina that can ask. Booty soft as nylon. Nylon that. That's all wet right there. But then also <laughs> small as micron. Not like MU micron. Because they make semiconductor chips. The only reason that I know that is because I actually own stocks in Micron. In the semiconductor. Is he playing off of that? I think so. That's wild, man. I mean, we're talking like micro, micro motherfucking chips and technology right now. Nigga small as my crime. I got a black Nina that get nasty as a white blind. Low credit, high crime. Open mind type. Black Nina that get nasty as a white blonde? Like a white blonde woman? <laughs> But he's firing off that needle. Come on. I got a black Nina that can nasty as a white blind. Low credit, high crime. Open mind, tight rhymes. When they hit my lines, these rappers gotta catch up like Hans. We low credit, high crime. Open mind. Low credit. He's got a low credit score because he's making all that money, but he's still doing high crime. Tight rhymes. When they hit my lines. And then he's got what? Tight rhymes. But this catch up bar right here, you must heard Lil Wayne. And if you haven't, y'all better catch up right now. Giving you those Heinz catch-up bars. Get nasty as a white blind. Low credit, high crime. Open mind, tight rhymes. When they hit my lines, these rappers gotta catch up like Heinz. Weezy in my slime knives. Ain't nobody like eyes. Like bygones. Gotta let icons be icons. Hi, moms. Hi, moms. Hi, moms. Ha. Gotta shout out moms, man. But also, let bygones be bygones. But in this case, he flipped it to icons be icons. Playing off the icons and legendary status. Two goats in hip-hop, man. How blessed are we to have Nas and Wayne on the same track? Mm. Fucking love hip hop, man. So smooth. It's like Motown vibes right there. Wow. Another hit from Nas and Hit Boy. 
And then getting Wayne on the track. Like the thing is, Nas gives you like that storytelling narrative, some of that street poetry, and he's so good at that. He's so composed, man. The way that he just rides over beats. And then Wayne comes in, punchline after punchline after punchline after punchline. Two very contrasting styles, but I feel like overall the theme of the track, celebrating the GOAT, celebrating legends and icons. I mean, who's more fitting than Wayne and Nas to get on and do that? Lil Wayne? Nas, you were not so certified. Hope you guys liked today's video. Let's from here at the end. Obviously, enjoying the content. Do me a huge favor. Support the channel directly. Subscribe notifications on. It really, really does go a long way. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay positive. It's one only Knoxville. You know I'll catch you again.